Welcome back to Raccoon Tweeties. Thanks for tuning in. I just got back from work at the Ooh. FBI. Ever heard of it? That's right. I'm revealing I'm an FBI agent. The most boring segment of Raccoon Tweeties ever. What, I, you, what you just did right now? <laughs> I just got back from work. Yeah. <laughs> boring? Really? The FBI is boring to you? Yeah. Well, not if they're kicking down your door, deity. The federally boring <laughs> incels, dude. Yeah, that's, that's what I meant. Dude. Yeah. I'm a boring incel. Neither of us are incels. We both have six. Yeah. But uh, that was gross to say out loud. No, I I mean, I don't know why I said FBI. I thought it would be funny. But you know what did make me laugh? I may have mentioned this on the show before, but... Was there that was daddy? A, <laughs> yeah, there was a guy in high school that was really dumb that we all made fun of. A nice guy. I liked him, but he was, like, not the, the sharpest... The sharp, smartest tool in the show. Yeah, yeah, And uh, he would go around, and he would flip his wallet open, and he would say his name, and he would go... Federal uh, or FBI agent. He'd be like, I'll make up a fake name. He'd be like, Dan Smith, FBI agent, and open his wallet. And it was pretty dumb. Oh, okay. Also, not a good story. No, dude, this is like the worst. Or no, maybe not the worst. The The second worst. The second worst opening to the last show we did. But I'm I'm very self conscious today because I have a pizza stain on my. Dude, this sweater attracts pizza stains. You see that thing? That's the same thing at Bluff. Is that the same Bellflower? Yeah. Yeah, this you fucking are, sweater. It's probably the I'm, same stain, dude. This is the third stain. Calling yourself out. No, no, no. no. <laughs> but the worst part about the stains, where they at, where they land, is that obviously the joke has come, dude. Right? I, that's like the joke for someone not in our universe. The joke in our universe is pretty obvious. <laughs> what that is? Tell <laughs> Bondi Maybe it's less obvious than I thought. Bondi is like high level. You and A to C. I was gonna say you're. You know what the real painted narrative is right now? Your hoodie. Because you got paint on that shit. Oh, <laughs> that, 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 that's, that's nowhere. In- Dude, the f- did I tell on the pod what you did Wait. at the show? Uh, Would it just be retelling? Because that was so funny to me. Go for it. You dressed in all black. Oh, yeah. I, I think we said, said you, this. Really? Oh, no, go for it. I think it's funny. I'll say it again. <laughs> we, got, we, got a, we got time to kill Dee. Dee. <laughs> um, you dressed in all black, and I thought it looked totally normal. But you were self-conscious about being all black. And so you put on a, a white fucking hood. You put on that hoodie. Yeah. And when we got there, you looked at the hoodie for the first time because you, you don't look in yourself in the mirror ever. <laughs> no, Evidence by the true. show. It's true, dude. <laughs> Which is interesting. It's like. You're spitting right now. Because it's it, that is such an interesting thing to, to be part of your personality where you don't really care at all. Yeah. You know, sometimes when I sit down. I'm like, ah, fuck, look at me. Look at that shit. I got to go change my shirt. You've never once done that. No, but uh, sh- shout out to Mr. Jesus Sepulveda, the anti-kratom uh, Christian, right? Yeah. He fucking is helping me out with style. So like every time go. we do a show, I get a new shirt and I'm that's starting right. to fill out the rotation. You know what Boom. I mean? Yeah. And so that's that's why I bought this. But then every time I fucking try to wear this, I get stains. Well, that's Alpha Hawk move number 16. Help out your friends. Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm glad to hear that. So, you got, I mean, I was going to tell a story, but now I kind of want to hear about that. What do you mean? You go to shops together? Yeah. We go fucking H&M is always okay, the first good. one. That's a, good, well, that's a Luke Schwartz uh, one. Oh, really? Name we haven't heard in a while. Oh, shit. Haven't heard that name in years. Yeah. Rest in peace. Um, <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> he just had a child. He's dead. So sad. Who cares? Uh, and then, yeah. So, this is an H&M one. And then there's like Cotton On, Cotton Forever on, 21. Forever 21. I actually just got a... Uh, thrift store forever 21 shirt. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So anyways, the story of what you did with this, this is forever 21. No, this is H and M H and M this, this H and M hoodie puts it on. It would get to the club. He looks at himself for the first time and he has this giant pizza stain. It's not pizza. It was thousand Talk, Island sauce for me. Thousand, now. That's yeah. worse. Yeah, it's worse. Yeah. So yeah, thousand Island. I was trying to help you out and you could do yourself. Well, I mean, this sweater is kind of like a thousand Island color a little bit, right? If it was faded, it was, <laughs> so it looked like cum then. It really did look like cum. <laughs> it kind of looked like cum. Um, never talk, never gadoosh yourself on airwaves. <laughs> never talk about hoodies on airwaves. But anyway, so you look at it, you got this big stain. You're like, fuck, I got this huge stain. Ah, I'll just take it off, even though I don't like this black shirt I'm wearing or whatever, which you look fine in. And you took it off. And when you took it off, you had the most, <laughs> like, um, fucking fuzzies. F- fuzzies I've ever seen. It wasn't just on... Your shirt, it was all over your black pants because you wore black pants too. Yeah. You look like you were turning into a white man. And I, I, it was funny. But in the moment, we're right about to go on stage. And I was like panic stricken for you because I knew, I thought you were going to have a meltdown because I would have. <laughs> if I noticed that, I'd be like, God damn it. I can't go on stage like this. And I was about to freak out. And you look like you maybe were going to freak out, but you didn't freak out. 
and you looked up, and right in front of you, there was a fucking lint roller. Yeah. And you lint rolled your, your whole shit. Yeah. Just lint roll. I just cannot believe that there's a lint roller there. It's still to, I. Yeah. I, you, you said last, and now I know we did talk about it on the show, because you said last time that they have lint rollers at, um, in green rooms, but I, I, I really think that's yeah. a painted narrative. Only 250 lint rollers can do it, dude. <laughs> no, I, they really do. I mean, I was in Phoenix, and they had a lint roller, you know? They Okay, well, that's two clubs, dude. That's just two. I know they don't have that at Flappers. I know they don't have that at the Ha Ha. Your boy performed at the theater for the first time, and they had a lint roller because there was a big-ass fucking... Really? Uh, what is it called? The wardrobe? Or what is it? I guess I know. I go, man, I'm exposing my. I don't not enough no, enough shows to know. I didn't want to say it, dude, but I'm better than uh, you at comedy, <laughs> right? <laughs> we'll let the audience decide that, deity. <laughs> but um, that's I'm working so on funny. a Joker now about Sharpies and Albondi guys. Really? Yeah. Oh, really? You're gonna go on the Sharpie route? You're ready to talk oh, about yeah. that on stage? I'm gonna talk about that shit, dude. Hell I yeah. like it. I like that. I mean, it's good. It's, Expose yourself. Be yeah. vulnerable. Mm-hmm. I, I'm not out. excited for my mom to see that, but you know what I mean. Yeah, well, she seems to be of the opinion that it didn't happen. Oh, she! I will never talk to her about the Sharpie thing. <laughs> okay. But the one thing guys, yeah, she's like acting like it didn't happen. That was so funny when I call, when you called me or I called you, and I I don't know if you brought it up or you you probably brought it up, and then I said, oh yeah, something, and then she was like, you don't believe everything he says, do you? Mm-hmm. And I was like, well, no, <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't, but you know how much I like people. But I believe that story. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, we did do an epith- another episode this earlier this week, mm-hmm. but tell them why it was gadoosh, dude. We had no internet. Yeah. So we were just like kind of trying to make a good show with nothing to comment on. So there were some huge lulls mm-hmm. where we just kind of sat here. You've seen it before, probably. <laughs> we sat here and we're like, yeah, man, that's crazy, dude. Yeah. <laughs> and like look all nervous and shit for the audio only listeners, the bed bugs. Um, but we, we talked... One thing we talked about, and we talked a little bit on the Discord, ever heard of it, was uh, it's not gonna it's not gonna make any sense unless we put it in the the show or later, and you can see. But we basically talk about the idea of like anybody who is successful sucks someone off. Yeah, but there are clear examples of this all, constantly in the news. P. Diddy, Harvey Weinstein, um, Les Moonves. This essentially all some version of hey Hannah Gatsby. <laughs> yeah, Nanette. I don't know if Nanette, she might be doing that. Sorry, you were you they, saying? They, I don't know if whatever they are. Um, so uh, yeah, like that is an we maybe it's so obvious it's right in front of our face. Like, damn, there's all these sex scandals where powerful people are forcing people to have sex with them. Maybe they shouldn't be allowed to be that powerful in the first place. Hawk move number thirty eight. And, uh, yeah, yeah, it makes you think like King George is probably having a bunch of colonists suck him off. You know what I'm saying? He's probably getting sucked off nonstop. Well, uh, he, he didn't even ask. It wasn't even yeah. a thing back then. People would just start sucking him off, and he'd be like, "Maybe to maybe I'll do it. You won't if once I know what it is." But then I, you're gonna suck me off. Is that John Hancock? More like John Mouthcock. Get over here. <laughs> and John Hancock was like, "Nah, bro, I ain't sucking no one off." And he signed his name. Yeah. The larger you sign your name, the more you know you never suck anyone. The off. more resistant you are to sucking people off. Yeah. Yeah, dude. John Hancock was like. Not only am I not going to suck you off, but I'm going to fucking bomb your shit. And my name's going to be all big and shit. Fuck the king. Kevin Hart's signature is like tiny. It's like <laughs> <laughs> Everyone who didn't sign the Constitution was fucking sucking people off hard. That's what I'm saying, dude. John Hancock, John Adams, George Washington, mm-hmm. Thomas Jefferson. These are the founding fathers. The yeah. one thing that keeps them all together, the one thing that makes them the same dude. They may not have been great guys. But they were hawks mm-hmm. that were not willing to suck British people mm-hmm. off. That's what the George wanted. I mean, You're if I was King George, off. that's the whole war. <laughs> yeah. yeah if I was King George, I would not want a blowjob from George Washington for sure. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> He's got fucked up teeth, dude. And there's no way you control those teeth. Right. Like, true. Because it's like they're attached to fucked up. They're fake teeth. They're yeah. fake. Yeah. But listen, they're sick back. These are sick people we're talking about. Back hey, then. George, uh, could take those teeth out and then we could talk, huh? And it's not this. And we've talked about the. <laughs> he makes him make take out the teeth. It's, then it's talk, the best blowjob, dude. Yeah. He's all gum. <laughs> but, and so that's what George Washington wasn't willing to do. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, no, no, no. But like that, it's not about how it feels. Mm-hmm. It's about the power that comes with it. The col- this is I'm a study I'm a student of history so I know a lot about this shit. King George when he got the letter from George Washington said it was like a pigeon flew over and the the fucking the guy like George's assistant was all nervous because he read he like 
did the parchment, he unrolled it, and, and he went down, and it said, I, George Washington, have this message for King George. Um, check this out. Something about, something about you asking me to suck you off feel re- real feminine to me, bruh. Yep. I, we in America, we got we got something. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. It's called a bag, B. Mm. And we ain't finna get that to you because uh, we're all we're all sneakerheads here, dog, and our shit is fucking low-key fire, okay? Yeah. And so George read that, and he was like, what the fuck? You're not going to suck me off. Well, then it's war, Didi. And that's how it started, dude. That's mm-hmm. fucking the Battle of uh, Concord. Yeah, dude. So basically, but then, you know, you go to well, from one extreme to the other. It's like, I don't want to have checks and balances to my blowjobs, dog. You know what I mean? You're right. Like, I got to get the fucking legislative branch to sign off on this girl giving me some head. You know what I mean? Mm. And then, because, you know, when you do it for one person, you got to do it for everyone, especially with these executive types. They'll fucking lobby and, you know, make everyone suffer their p- fucking punishment. Right? Yeah. I mean, it, it, you're, you're right in that it is the system we have at the moment, so we're working through it. I don't know. I mean... Is that or what? What do you mean? Well, I, I'm talking about like to the diver, like to separate power from one individual. Mm-hmm. You'd have to have some checks and balances, right? Like they would probably want that to trickle down into everyday life. It's like, so yeah, she blew you, but did you get three signatures? Huh? You know, I'm, I'm not. It's fall, just a joke. I understand. <laughs> I'm not following. I understand that there are three branches of government, but I'm not a numbers guy, mm-hmm. so I didn't. I want you know real talk though. We need to talk about how. Um, uh, you know who really didn't, who really wasn't willing to suck anyone off? Real talk, Crispus Attucks. Who's that? He was the first guy shot in the revolution. Oh, okay. There was a ra- there was a rally, there were riot, and the um, co- the colonists or the colonialists or Americans or whatever, they were like, "We won't suck you off. We won't suck British cock." And and um, meanwhile, Benedict Arnold's fucking double fisting this shit, dude. You know, that fucking guy. He was doing that Trump thing. Yeah, dude, he's fucking mm-hmm. British. Fucking come all over his face, dude. Yep. Like, no ditty. Well, there's some Yankee smash. <laughs> there's some, what, is, what do they call it, dude? In, this is the, <laughs> in Britain, they call it come something else. They call it, fuck, I forget. Um, yeah, what do they call it? If you're our British listeners, what do you yeah. guys call jizz? It's, it's called something like Yankee smut. It's called like, it starts with the S. I forget what it is, though, dude. Yankee snot. <laughs> Yeah. What it would it skis it? Remember when we learned skizas? <laughs> oh yeah. You know they all those skis all those skizers were trying to fucking come in here and tell us what to do, dude. Mm-hmm. Oh dude. Your blog buzzer. Your blog buzzer. <laughs> we and we still won't suck you now. <laughs> but yeah, no, that's what they were chaining. That when the British soldiers heard that, they got so mad. And you can watch all this shit on Ken Burns. Ken Burns goes all over how like the fuck the British commander, he was like, Oh, they saying they're not, not gonna suck us off anymore. Mm-hmm. Then. What the hell then? Mm-hmm. It was just like watching the net. Yep. It's almost exactly the same. They talked just like that. And they're fucking mad, dude. And then George Washington was, he was like, these teeth only come out for Martha. You know, mm-hmm. I suck her off. Yeah. And that that was deep. You know. How do you think uh, Grant won all those battles, dude? He, his nickname was Ulysses as Pants. Dude, take him off. Take him off. That's right. This can be this argument is every war can be it can be seen through. That was Civil War, by the way. I I'm yeah. an idiot. I no, just wanted I, to say oh, pants. I, I knew that that was I mean Ulysses S. Grant was this but you had raised a good point. Don't mm-hmm. don't sell yourself short here. Ulysses S. Grant fought for the North because the South wanted the North to suck them off. Yep. And how do why do you think you became an alcoholic? He fucking couldn't live with himself, dude. He had a bunch of southern fucking saliva all over his junk. Yeah, we made we made Ulysses S. Grant when he won that war. Robert E. Lee sucked him off. Yep, and also fucking uh, Stonewall Jackson, Jeb Stewart, all those dudes. You know what they were doing? Sucking people off. That's why George Bush celebrated early. He put mission accomplished because he got a blowjob from Saddam Hussein. Right. Al Gore and Saddam Hussein sucked off George Bush. Yep. And then Obama got sucked off by Mitt Romney. And uh, Hillary Clinton sucked Trump off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he fucking, I don't want this. this no. And for want. sure, Friendly Fire, Sarah Palin definitely sucked off John McCain. You know what I'm saying? She sucked off John McCain. John McCain sucked off Trump. Mm, I don't know about that, but <laughs> that's the next It gets more, it gets more of, of offensive as it goes. <laughs> Everybody is sucking people off and we yeah. need to either stop it. <laughs> we need to put an end to this. <laughs> <laughs> or if you enjoy it, keep doing it. And one of our guys, Bud Deasy, posted a clip from Mr. Show, which was essentially exactly what we did. The yeah. sketch that 
that they did that none, neither of us have ever seen. So we're not stealing from two of the greats. Uh, Fucking who was David Cross? David and, Cross and Ben over what uh, is it? Bob Oden. Bob Oden. Bob Oden. Oden. Not, other people I recognize, sort of. I don't know who they are. Yeah, they must have been Mister Show dudes. But anyway, it was like exactly the same. Yeah. So I was like, "Damn, dude, look at us, young David Cross and Bob Oden." <laughs> <laughs> I don't wear glasses, Daddy. This has David Cross with salsa on it. Oh David, yeah, true. Hundred percent. David uh, Cruzas or what is, what is it in Spanish? Cruces. David Cruz. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fucking. Gerardo, yeah. Could you imagine how much easier life would be if your name was David Cruz? <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm gonna change fucking, it to that. Yeah, you should, dude. You, every single show I've done lately has been fucking. My name's been getting fucked up, dude. Yeah, again recently. But I'm, I'm starting to figure out how to like do it on stage and be funny right away when that happens. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy about it now. I'm like, fuck my name up. See what happens, Doug. Well, Alpha Hawk rule number ninety eight is to uh, not care at all about your name. But then Alpha Hawk rule number 99 is to care too much. Yeah, but Beta Hawk fucking daddy over here, dude, don't give a fuck to begin with. <laughs> Beta Hawk. <laughs> you care so much. What are you talking about? No, I don't. You I'm, just talked about it just now. I don't give a fuck, dude. That's right. Yeah. You don't you don't care because you you were just talking, talking about no, it. No, dude. Uh, speaking of crossing, dude. Uh, <laughs> speaking of crossing, the moon was out here doing some oh, shit. Solar eclipse and uh, that level to this shit, bro. But anyways, the solar eclipse happened. Yeah, dude, there's a I'll tell you what, there's a lot of chicks on social media really caring about fucking astrology again, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Astronomy, I guess. Yeah, we both saw a post um from a we were both on Instagram and we saw a post from a chick doing a thirst trap for the solar eclipse. Hell yeah, dude. I'm going to describe it. I won't name the person who did it, but um, it was like her in like a white tee, like, or maybe like, what are the, like almost like a, a wife beater. A yeah, wife beater. Yeah. She was her in like a tank top. It's probably what they call it, women. She was in a beater. white tank top. Yeah. Wife beater kind of like, kind of, you know, working it for the camera with um, the glasses that you wear when you're supposed to look at the solar eclipse and it said something like checking out the solar eclipse parties or something like that. And it's just like her doing all like poses and stuff like that. I just thought that was wild. Yeah. That for the solar eclipse, it was sexualized. I will say the solar eclipse is a marketing genius, dude. Cause everyone gave a fuck. I, I went outside and looked up and I was like, ow, fuck. It hurt my eyes really bad. Really? Yeah. Are you being serious or are you doing a bit? I'm being serious. Why would I do a bit? That was honest. I That's was crazy honest. that you looked at the solar eclipse. I did. I literally stepped outside my apartment, looked up. I was like, "Ah, oh, fuck!" And then I went back inside. I didn't stare at it. Can you even see it from where we are? Uh, no. But it was. I this will say, shiny. I've looked at the sun a lot in my life. If you can't tell from my intelligence, right? <laughs> Does it harm your intelligence? Well, uh, let me finish my fucking thought. Yeah, Google that shit. Too. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Go, sorry. Uh, and this one hurt the most for sure when I looked at the sun. Yeah, that's crazy because you forgot. Wait, <laughs> I yeah, I rarely look at the sun. Yeah, I don't. I try not to. I didn't forget anything. I literally heard that it would be bad for you. And so I stepped outside and looked at the sun and I was like, oh yeah, that's pretty bad. You wanted to make sure it was bad for you? I mean, the more you ask questions, the stupider I look, but I'm just saying <laughs> I was, I read that it somewhere that it was bad for you. So I went, stepped outside. I was like, how bad could it be? You know, the curiosity you killed the cat. Sting. Yeah. Interesting. I'm an choice. alcoholic, dude. <laughs> yeah. But before like, yeah, you're always an alcoholic, but you don't drink now. It's not like you, it's not like this decision was like brought to you by Jim Beam or something like that. No, but <laughs> you're like, no, no, but <laughs> an alcoholic would do that shit. He reads that something hurts and he's like, does it really hurt, dude? Really? Yeah. Damn. Okay. Well, you got to Google, uh, Google, um, if does the staring at sun affect your intelligence? Okay. I am very interested to hear if you got, if it hurt your intelligence at all now, but you say you do that regularly throughout your life. You stared at the sun driving home from school. <laughs> my mom would say, <laughs> it sounds like a fucking, <laughs> a, a fucking song. What's that band? Uh, black hole sun. Sounds like one of their songs that you're saying, but go, go ahead. Sorry to interrupt you. Anyways, <laughs> driving home from school, I would just stare at the sun. <laughs> like what? <laughs> because it does this cool thing. And also, Apparently, like, native people were sticking their buttholes at the sun and shit, so, you know what I oh, mean? Oh, yeah, that's still a thing now. People yeah. do that. But that's your butthole. That's different. Yeah. Listen, dude. The way I see... I'm just kidding. Um, Yeah, I would stare at the sun, and it does this weird thing, like a weird, like, like a weird retina effect. Uh-huh. 
in the sun in like a black like a black dot like circles the sun because you know when you're driving home from school the sun's starting to set a little bit yeah. uh from like what is it uh from october to april whenever that daylight savings is sure so the sun's already trying to set and you just see that and i would just stare <laughs> and just be like oh <laughs> yeah dude. i'm gonna need you to stop doing that if you're still doing it because you're the producer of the show there's, there's levels, levels to this shit, shit bro. <laughs> you need to have your eyesight to be able to fucking edit this shit and also to do stand up how are you gonna get on the stage dude dude i'm gonna get on i, I don't need dude i'm preparing to get on the stage because the lights are bright daddy you know what i mean right so let's read this here if I can get off this topic. <laughs> uh, is it true that staring directly at the sun for too long can cause brain damage? Oh, shit. Uh, hi, Mike Wilson. <laughs> okay, mm-hmm. first the names. Varendra Swarup. That's not a real person, dude. There is This is a bot that is just like, I am a computer. I can look at the sun for as long as Could I need be. to. You don't know AI. What are, yeah, they fucking AI is going to take talk. over the world. Yeah, exactly. Hi, Mike Wilson. Very rare the brain, but surely may floods. What? Very rare the brain, but surely... May floods your eyes, retinas, literally burning the exposed tissue and causing short-term damage to include cornea sunburn called solar keratitis. Uh, Caution, the damage may be so extreme that never heals, may even lead to a rare conditioner called solar retin... Retinopathy. Who's reading, dude? All right, sorry. Retinopathy, like I was saying. This phenomenon, <laughs> phenomenon, phenomenon, phenomenon. This phenomenon usually happens to reckless eclipse gazers during solar eclipse, and yes, direct and prolonged exposure to sunlight does impair the brain, obstruct thinking, coordination of motor and cognitive performance, as also extreme exhaustion, fatigue. Okay, so I'm autistic, dude. Is that well, what you want to hear? I, no, I honest. This is a get out of jail free card. I mean, you got to stop doing it now because it could get worse. But you're gonna be like, I'm sorry about that. I stared at. Next time you fuck up real bad, just say. I'm sorry about that. I stared at the sun for most of my life. <laughs> and see what they say. Tell them that story. If they don't, if they're like, what? Or ha ha. You know, like, no, dude, when I was driving home, I fucking would stare at the sun and it would do that thing. Tell them about the daylight. So whatever you said to me, I believed it. And I was like, damn. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, I mean, dude, it's fu- like, there's a meditative process to it. Like I lost myself in the sun. Sue me, dude. And there's also like, the the windshield is kind of in the way, so it's like I kind of got away with it looking at the sun without it being like oh, it direct contact. Bit. Yeah, the windshield. Yeah, yeah, maybe I don't know how much windshield blocks it, but you don't. I don't. You don't appear to have solar keratitis or solar retinopathy or whatever. That's probably not even how you pronounce it. Who knows? Yeah, I don't know. I dude. haven't heard of either of those things. Uh, they sound blockbuster though. But uh, like I was saying, it's a. Uh, a lot of hot chicks on social media. Everyone, let's be honest. A lot of people are just fucking posting about this solar eclipse, dude. I wonder if there's more than just the one thirst trap, but I guarantee there is. If she's doing it, I'm sure there's plenty of thirst trap solar eclipse things. Dude, where there's smoke, there's baddies, daddy. You know what I mean? Right. I wonder if there's like an OnlyFans where someone's like, check out my OnlyFans, I, where I'm just wearing my fucking solar eclipse glasses. Yeah. And they're like looking up and they're like, big old titties. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> or if like somebody on OnlyFans is like my titties are doing an eclipse and they put one in front of the other and then your yeah. eyes become damaged and shit. That'd be funny. When they look back at the yeah, <laughs> the, wait, wait, they're the person who does the wait whose eyes become huge damaged? titties, kind of right. saggy. They yeah. have to overlap each yeah. other. She's like saying that her titties are doing an eclipse because one's going in front of the other. Uh huh. And your eyes get damaged just from looking at the tits being all mashed up. Yeah, how does the sun and the moon work? I don't know, right? <laughs> you know what I saw that really freaked me out about it? Well, it didn't freak me out, but it made me think for a second because I'm not a smart guy. You mm-hmm. know this. I saw one of these conspiracy people tweeting. It was something that Sam Tripoli retweeted because I follow him, so I see all this like nonsense shit. Yeah. And um, it said, them, uh, don't look at the solar eclipse because it will hurt your eyes. And then it said, me, but why do animals not go blind? Mm. It was like the guy thinking like this or some sort of meme like that. Mm. And I was, that made me think, I know that I believe scientists that solar eclipses hurt your eyes, especially after you just saying what you just said. It's like, I have anecdotal evidence to back me up now. Ben-a, 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 ben-a. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> <we're> just, <laughs> and it makes you fucking <laughs> sing video game theme songs. Like Shab obviously doing the same yeah. thing you are. Um, but I was like, but you know, I don't know the answer to that. I don't yeah. know why animals don't go blind. And I looked it up because I was curious because 
I figured it's an easy answer. You can just Google it. That's a pro- that's the problem with a lot of these conspiracy things. They go, well, why is it like that? And it's like, did you ask Google? You know, did you look into it at all? Um, animals, the one answer I found, just don't really look at the sun that much. Yeah, dude. And also, it it so rarely, rarely happens that there's no data to like study. Okay, well, it affects dogs, but it could hurt dogs or cows or whatever the fuck. So yeah, if your dog is like doing that, be like, hey, I'm just kidding. Don't hit him. But I mean, if you, you see know. like a wild lizard, it's not gonna tap you on the toe and be like, yo, dude, I'm fucking blind. Don't look at the eclipse. Exactly. You know what I mean? <laughs> exactly, dude. These are blockbusting things. But if you do see a dog, just run up to it and put glasses on real quick. Oh, t- I'm kidding. What the fuck? Okay, I thought <laughs> I thought you also read that. That's why. No, um, you made me so mad that I accidentally tapped my nuts, and my fucking nuts hurt like a lot. Oh right my now, bad, dude. dude. It's all good. I've had that. That's, you're not the first person that's happened to. <laughs> Um, this is like post work, Brendan, like just enough energy to kind of be too energized. Yeah. And then after this, I'm going to fucking fall asleep on this red chair. <laughs> now, I mean, yeah, no, that's a good point, dude. That the lizard, you're not going to fucking, a lizard's not going to be like, Hey, Hey, real quick. Sorry, man. I fucking went blind. That's so stupid. There's so many fucking like, I don't know. What, what's another commonly seen? Oh, squirrels that are yeah. just, they're just blind. You just don't know it. All right, there. I know I told you I would never talk about work stories at all, but oh this I can't. I swear to God, I can talk about this. Mm-hmm. There, what today? What the? Oh, that scrawling? was me snoring. No, <laughs> <I'm> snoring. <laughs> there was a squirrel at work today that was like running around, and people were like, "Oh, watch out for the squirrel and shit." I wonder if that squirrel is blind. Yeah, that's the only reason he wanted to hang out at our office because he fucking can't see shit. He was just trying to tell us, yep. "Help!" I stare at the sun. I'm blind. Next time you think like. You know how like sometimes a squirrel will do something and you're like, that's a stupid fucking squirrel, dude. Yeah. He's probably blind. You know what I mean? <laughs> All animals doing dumb stuff are blind. Are looking at the sun, dude. Or they just suck someone off. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I don't know if you saw this uh, trend today. What's that? Um, the reason why I pulled up this guy is because he never posts. And I, that's why when I saw him, I was like, dude, I should be posting about the eclipse today, dude. Yeah. Um, this trend, everyone's been doing this. Oh. <laughs> He's, he has a way of like, no, he's like everyone I've ever seen on social media. This guy, <laughs> like as soon as he, I'm like, oh fuck, I've seen this guy before. <laughs> Especially this photo, the fun, I know it's not part of the solar eclipse, but the one where he's like this. Oh, where? The, this one? That one? Yeah. That one is like everyone we know in comedy. <laughs> like <laughs> this guy, this is like Vince, Luis, Daniel, like every... Like any of their friends, like they all have like at least one photo where it's them being mm, like this. Yeah. This is, it's uh, cracking me up. We're in the woods. We're hiking. <laughs> all right. Good. Good for you. All right. Keep talking. Probably, I gotta, probably me the same way, dude. But I, I have to plug in the computer. I forgot. Oh, to. yeah. Keep going. I mean, the, the, I, it's a good, it's a good, I see why you do that. The, not the, not the finger thing, but the eclipse thing. It's like, it happens never. And you capture it on camera with you in the thing. People are be like, "Oh fuck, I missed it!" But you got a recording of it. It's not. It's probably one of the more creative uh, things. I would. I maybe would have done it had I. There goes the cowbell. It's oh, all shit. good. <laughs> um, the newest. Remember the family. Yeah, that was a cheap cowbell on Amazon. Remember we got that for a little sister. I was like, "Should I get it?" And you were like, "Yes, that's it. that's it, right?" Hell yeah, dude. Um, hope you guys like that. Real so, G's moving sounds like lasagna. <laughs> Yeah, I thought that song came out pretty good. Oh, yeah. Dude. Yeah, good editing. But anyways, what, what did you want to say about that? Just that, that that fucking trend. It was so funny to me. I haven't seen it. Does anybody we know, like any comedians do that? Uh, yeah, let me let me pull one up really quick. Keep talking here. So, um, you know, if I, if I were to do it, obviously mine would have salsa on it if it was me. <laughs> I didn't even know where it was. I remember, like, you... You had to to really see it. I think the people were going to Dallas was like the best place to, which is funny. Yeah, uh, that's not a joke. Dallas, my <laughs> Dallas, my eclipse is different. No, <laughs> it, it is different though in Dallas. Yeah, it literally was in Dallas. I know people were going to Houston too. I think to see it. Yeah, because there was some sort of flight that was delayed that was headed. Okay, to guys, we're just minutes away from the solar eclipse. <laughs> I'm here with my buddy Don Friesen. We're oh, driving shit. through the desert. Flappers alert. Okay, Flappers and we alert. Just to make one more post just in case you can't find us. We're in Coachella Valley. Uh, if everything uh, just goes off the grid, just, this is where you can find us. If the car stops working, Coachella, a good spot we're safe. I guess. You've got a cliff bar. 
Cliff. We're open to sponsorship. We got Diet Mountain Dew. Okay, let's go to the movie. Two, okay. Ask me, Eric, how two do you headliners get your- driving? I asked if Kamina Zoo is those two headliners doing it. Yeah, so. see this this trend here where they become the eclipse. I guess some they saw other people doing it or they knew that like it would from before. I don't know how people all knew to do this. Yeah, you didn't like this. Do you mind if I like it? Yeah, go ahead. There you go, dude. I don't know if I... You can follow Eric if you want. I don't think I follow him. <laughs> you don't follow him. I don't know him. He's a great guy. I never met him. Oh, you never met him? No. Oh. I remember that guy Frazen from Flappers. He's funny. Yeah. Um, what should we call it? Yeah, man, that's crazy. I wonder how everybody knew to do that. Do you want to see the uh, Dallas reaction? Yeah. It's too bad that uh, Eric doesn't have a thirst trap one of him. I that. know. I would, like, that would've, that would've, I would have got hard, Dave. <laughs> Let's see. I guess th- is this yeah, one looks awful. I hate stuff like this. Yeah, this is this reminds me of when I went to go to uh, Cape Canaveral or uh, oh shit, right? And Ooh, saw, the, the I saw the shuttle. space shuttle take off. Damn. Yeah. See, that's cooler. What can I say, dude? This is my thing is like, and I am a bit redacted. I just I'm not interested in like. I mean, I like talking about it now, but the actual thing of the eclipse, like, I just don't care. Holy shit! Look at that though. Look how dark it gets, dude. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. You're like, I just don't care. And then you're going to be like, this is awesome. Yeah, that is the classic me. I see. I have to be forced <laughs> like a child to like enjoy beauty. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's pretty dope. I just, all right. Yes, I think it's dope, but I also yeah. don't care. Like I didn't. You didn't go. I didn't uh, set aside time today to fucking watch this. Look at the sun, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. The, you out watch, of all days you watch the it. sun every other day, yeah. but when it, then the eclipse happens, you're like, nah, it's done count. <laughs> Tongue count. I mean, the, here, yeah, the darkness, this is actually the thing that is I'm most interested in. Not so much like seeing the actual like thing happen. Yeah. The moon, what is it? Some, what blocks what? The moon blocks the sun? Right. I think so. I don't know. I have I, no clue. See, I haven't even looked it up. When it, when it happens, uh, animals start doing their like nightly do like what they normally do at night during oh. the day. So I had that that to me, I, I went into Brian Callen unprompted. Oakley's. That to me is interesting. That just because the the uh, it gets dark, they just instinctually start doing their shit. Yeah. So and then I guess I'm really more interested in the animals or whatever than I am anything else because I also cared about whether they go blind. Yeah, dude. I don't know. But You're over get, here asking rabbits if they're fucking blind or not. Yeah. What happened? Like rabbits are the dumbest animals there are. So I'm sure if you if any animal could go blind during the eclipse, it would be rabbits. <laughs> they almost seem like they want to die, <laughs> right? Yeah. They don't ever. They like the. They're so like not fast, and they run away like right when you get near them. I get the feeling you could just grab a rabbit if you wanted to. Nah, good luck, daddy. I mean, they might bite you. Oh, really? Rabbits yeah. don't bite, dude. Yeah, they do. What are you a carrot? <laughs> 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 he played the duck. For you. <laughs> Got you, dude. <laughs> Got you, dude. <laughs> Fucking Bugs Bunny's your ass, dude. You did, sir. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm happy that everyone had a good time because I love when people have a good time, right? Yeah. I'm also happy that I didn't really spend time doing this today. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is like what is, it's it's all dark and it's the Dallas skyline. Was it the Gringo Poppy? You, know? uh, you wouldn't understand, dude, Cooney. You wouldn't understand. I wonder if Shab did anything with it. He probably would. He's going to talk about it for three yeah. weeks. So Timos, we're going to probably have a lot of Shab <laughs> solar eclipse. I mean, he might know more than I do about it. I, I don't even know what it is. I yeah. haven't even looked into it. I assume it's the moon blocking the sun, but I have no idea. Yeah, dude. Yeah. But uh, let's move on from that, dude. Let's, fucking Greta Thunberg got arrested, apparently, dude. Yeah, our girl, one of our girls got arrested. I don't know why. It's at the Hague. There's a climate protest at the Hague. I don't even know what the Hague is. It's a place where girls with knockers go, dude. Yeah, that was what cracked me up about the story was like I I saw her getting arrested and then like you you look at the online and it's like somebody <laughs> made AI big boobs for her. Yeah, like, that right that, there. Yeah, like it's not, it's just, I, tw- I tweeted about this and then deleted it because it bombed, but I thought it was funny. <laughs> the idea of like, so the, at some point they're going to be like, grandfather, what did, what did you do when you knew that climate change was going to destroy the earth? And you're like, or why didn't you do anything when that was going to happen? And you're like, we did do something. We made one of the activists, we made her boobs look really big. Yeah. It's like very ridiculous. Hey, dad. Yes, son. What did you do for the solar eclipse <laughs> of April 2024? 
Oh, dude, Greta Thunberg got arrested with huge tits. <laughs> I mean, it's just funny that they like there's such a dire thing going on with the climate right now, and all we have is a video of like a teenage or a 21 year old with um, maybe big boobs getting arrested. I mean, put the cuffs on her, dude. She's a wild animal. Why are they just arresting her? There's so many people there. Yeah, I don't do? know. Maybe she, it, it, well, it's like a photo op. They're like, all right, let's do this. They're like, get the cameras, action. Greta's going to jail, dude. Yeah, maybe she's like, it, it's almost like, is she in on this? Or they work together? I'm like, sure. And what was she, What is look up like what the actual protest was, because I'm going to look up what the Hague is. Um, climate activist Greta Thunberg was among se- dozens of se- people detained Saturday by police in the Hague as they removed protesters who were partially blocking a road in the Dutch city. Because I know, like, the Hague, isn't that the thing where they, like, try international criminals or something like that? I it's have It's like no a clue. court or whatever. So, okay, so it's in the Netherlands. I thought that's where it was. All I know is that uh, the most annoying protests are the ones where they sit in the street. It's like, come on, dude. Oh, I hate that. That's annoying. I mean, I get it. It's like a pretty, it's a pretty good way of getting someone's attention, blocking all work so you can't get to work. But then it's like you're blocking everybody going to work. You're blocking the working class. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? What would you suggest they do otherwise? Oh, dude, I can't say that on YouTube, dude. Kill themselves? No. Why would you say that? We I got a good douche last time for that. I'm because I'm dumb. Yeah, dude. The Hague is the seat of government of the Netherlands. What does that mean? I don't know. There's a seat in the Netherlands, dude. Next Whatever, question. Dude, I'm done. <laughs> Next question, Daddy. But yeah, so she's protesting outside. Um, and I'm assuming she's protesting something to do with like a pipeline or something. I wonder what, does it say? No, but all I know is that she's smiling while getting arrested. That's not how I got arrested, dude. I was fucking frowning and peeing my pants everywhere I went. Dude. Yeah. Do you think she peed her pants in the, how similar would like the ride there is, was to what you went through? Do you think? No, it's very dissimilar if you ask me, dude. So you don't, th- so let's go through it step by step. You don't mm-hmm. think she peed her pants. Next question. No. You don't think she peed in the car? No. Or at jail? Uh, I think maybe she peed her pants like before even leaving her house. She was like, if I'm going to do this, I need to get everything out. And then I just want to make her worse than me somehow. <laughs> what about when she got to jail? Do you, you, when you went to jail. I peed everywhere. Yeah, I know you peed. What, we've, we, <laughs> we've gone through the urine part of what, my question. So, oh, sorry about that. So you, you didn't get shoes, right? You no, didn't have shoes. I had no socks, no shoes. No socks, no shoes. Do you think she was able to... Uh, key, I guess, is she wearing shoes? Kind of hard yeah, to she's tell. wearing shoes. So she had shoes. She, she got, got you there. And then... Ugg boots on. They put you in a cell with other people? Yes. Do you know what they did? Uh, no, well, one guy was coming down off meth. I remember that. And he was like, dude, meth is like... I don't even need it anymore. And then... He we, said that to yeah, you. No, and then when we went, all went to sleep, he just went... Uh, uh, and then some fucking gangster ass dude was like, man, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> and then he was just like, <laughs> he could, I mean, I've, I'm, I have empathy for the guy. He couldn't stop. He was yeah, I've, I've, aching, I'm not, I'm, bro. I feel bad for laughing. He was aching. I was thinking that when he's like, I don't even need meth anymore. And then he goes, he's about to go to sleep and he asks you for meth. <laughs> That's basically the <laughs> same thing. Or you wake up and he's sucking off that guy. And he's like, shut the fuck up. And he's smoking meth while, while sucking him off. And so then you know. after he sucks him off, he becomes president of the United States. <laughs> he's Hunter Biden. Yeah. <laughs> um. So, okay. How about that? Do you think in her jail cell there was someone on meth or some gangster or anything like that? I think she would have been surprised for sure. Yeah, I wonder what jail is like for an activist. And the Netherlands, though, they probably have like the nicest jail ever. Yeah, we're talking about European jail, daddy. They're a bunch of wusses over there, dude. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I just assume that it's like about more about rehabilitation and like, you know, um, they probably put all their protesters in some protester wing that has like smoothies. I know what's in her jail cell, dude. A bunch of cobwebs because nobody's ever in that bitch, dude. Fucking what catch is- and release, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't imagine that she's kept in jail very long. Nah. I want. Maybe she gets. Maybe she gets fined, and then the fucking movement pays for it or something like that. They should, That'd be funny they if they took her to the people. Hague. 
Yeah, honestly, she's at the Hague. It's like yeah. they put her, take her there. Yeah. She's right outside the fucking thing. They I'm, don't need to put her in a truck. Yeah, dude. I never even heard of this fucking place, dude. It looks like they're walking her to their truck. You notice that? <laughs> yeah. What's up with that? <laughs> you know, what's funny, too, is that Miguel's out there, dude. Now I know why. He's yeah, Miguel's a, trying to holler. Yeah, he's trying to holler at... Greta he's, Thunberg. He's, he's doing some Hague pimping, dude. Greta Gonzalez. So. Greta Gonzalez soon, dude. Never heard of it. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if Miguel would date Greta... Greta gone big tits, dude. Greta, Miguel's younger than us, right? Or is he your age? No, he's very much younger. Than, he's 10 years younger than you. Yeah, so um, 10 years younger than me. So, yeah, he's not far off from how old she is. I think he's, like he's like 42 like or something. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> off, dude. <laughs> Hater. Um, I mean, I wonder. Let's. Can you look up and see what, it, what does it say? Does um, it say that she's like, does it say anything about why she was arrested? Uh, it says, oh, well, I basically told you already she got arrested for sitting in the street. Yeah, but what, is there anything more than that? I mean, they do that all the time. Why is this news? Just because they got a good photo uh, of it? I'm sure it was news before. Yeah. But, oh, well. So, I mean, yeah. she's a fucking duck, dude. What do you expect? She, quack, 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 dude. I don't know. I mean, she has some duck things. She has some mock things. I mean, look at This is what I got. She's smiling. I don't like that. Yeah. This man's just like, God, fucking Jesus. I hate my job. And this guy's legit mad, you know? Yeah. Um, I would love to hear like a, a Danish perspective on Greta Thunberg, dude. Yeah, dude, get it from the source. <laughs> yeah. You know? I mean, I, is she... F- yes, yeah, she's in Netherlands, but she's from Denmark. Who knows, dude? I have no clue. It's so hard to keep these people, like who's where, who's from what in these countries and tell them apart or even what the Hague is. I'm 58% sure she's a Nepo baby, dude. I don't know who her dad is, but that's... I, I wish that um, the government would just solve these problems instead of like having to listen to a 12-year-old yammer on about what's going on. I mean, that was a duck perspective because I don't give a fuck what the government does, dude. Ain't no no done no, no, no for me, bro. <laughs> Ain't never no done no, nothing no, no for me, bro. Right. The government needs... Needs to look into this patito over here. Help him out. Who, me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, the government needs to get off my shit, bro. Or leave him alone. Yeah, right? yeah. Has the government been on your back a little bit lately? She, I was trying to go to the restroom. They took me to jail. So I peed all over they motherfucking ass, <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah, she. you're the government unfairly um, took you off of your car that you were sleeping on drunk without a shirt on and no shoes. <laughs> Don't tell me I was drunk without a shirt on, bro. <laughs> I had a fucking tank top, dog. <laughs> I love the idea of them. I remember they asked you what you're doing, and you went, I've been here since 4 p.m. Yeah. As if that, that's kind of like the anything you'd ask Shab, and he's like, he says something kind of crazy like that. I've yeah. Been, I've been, what? My, what my, my favorite shoe is? My favorite shoe is <laughs> over there. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just told them, because I didn't say anything else. They asked me, like, were you driving? I was like, I've been here since 4 o'clock. <laughs> and then they kept asking me questions and I was a John Doe for a little while because I didn't give him my name. I didn't have my wallet. They called you four o'clock. <laughs> like, four o'clock in the car. Oh, uh, four o'clock's peeing again, dude. Do you think it took, did it take two officers to drag you to the truck? Uh, no, it was just one dude. He was pretty chill. Okay. I mean, it was a very chill environment until he saw the pee. Then he got very upset. So yeah, that's crazy that you drunkenly kind of being like asleep on a car, you are much easier to take down than Greta Thunberg, who's four foot 11. Did you know that? I didn't know she's very four foot short. 11. No. I looked her up before this. Four foot 11. I mean, just, just, this is, you know what I mean? Yeah, it kind of looks like those, th- um, the picture, it looks like those uh, people that were crying when Hillary Clinton lost. Yep. That's what that kind of looks like. The guy on the left looks like he was probably kind of annoying. Yeah, this guy looks drunk as fuck back here. That, he looks like that SNL guy that was in MacGruber. Mm. She's there with MacGruber and some, uh, I don't know what the nerd guy looks like. And then the guy in the back has a car, uh, Carhartt hat. He's got a headache. She's screaming so loud. This guy's got a headache. We're here. I don't know what, it, I don't know what else they say. <laughs> yeah, dude, I have no clue. <laughs> We're here. We're queer. We're going to take your children. But that that's not their thing. They're climate people. They're not queer, dude. <laughs> I have no idea, dude. Hey, well, no. Let me just. They're not queer, dude. Okay. All right. <laughs> I believe you, dude. <laughs> it's fucking beats me, dude. I mean, who knows? I mean, I say one thing, checkmate. That's all I'm saying. Do you know what I'm saying? So, um, <laughs> the other thing we were going to talk about was uh, Morgan Wallen got arrested. We're yeah. just talking about people getting arrested because we're just happy that we're not arrested, you know? Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm happy to be alive, dude. Morgan Wallen, 
arrested on felony charges in Nashville after allegedly throwing chair from bar rooftop. I like the juxtaposition of like Greta Gun or Greta Gunberg, Greta Thunberg getting arrested for climate stuff, and then there's this like country music star. He was drunk at a at someone else's bar and he took a chair and he threw it off. Morgan of, uh, Ballin, dude. The patio or whatever. He threw it at cops too. Mm. This guy doesn't give a fuck. Disorderly conduct and uh, three reckless endangerment charges following an incident at country artist Eric Church's six-story restaurant bar Chiefs in downtown Nashville. Dude, the craziest thing happened yesterday. I didn't tell you about this. What? Uh, I went to the, I forget what it's called every time, but it's in Gl- Glendale. Um, it's the Greyhound. Uh, yeah, I know the Greyhound. Yeah, the bar. Yeah, dude. So, okay, so get this. Let me tell you the whole story. Legs. Let yeah. me tell you the whole story, okay? Yeah. Please don't interrupt me, please. <laughs> um, I went to the Glendale room because they have the 430 mic. And oh, nice. then at the Glendale room, there was this man who did a uh, raunchy material. He was very open about his sexuality, all this stuff. Very, you know, whatever. It was funny. Yeah. First yeah. time I've ever seen it. Definitely not the first time he's done it. So yeah. there's that. He does all right. Everyone else does all right. I do all right. Everyone's got a good vibe, dude. It's a good fucking vibe Glendale mm. room, right? Mm. We go outside. Everyone's like, let me get your Instagram. Let me get your Instagram. And I'm like, I need followers, Doug. You know what I mean? I'm thirsty, dude. Sure. Thirst trap followers, right? Yeah. I'm going to post about the solar eclipse. Dog. Grind set, mindset. And so we're exchanging followers, right? All of us. And then this is where I need your input. The guy that is operative later in this story sure. says, hey, guys, listen up. What are your thoughts on that, dude? All the comics are outside. Somebody calls all the attention of all the comics. What do you think about that, dude? Alpha Hawk move number 78. <laughs> you don't really believe that. No, no. I mean, I don't I don't have a strong opinion. I mean, it depends on what he says next. Mm, if you're getting everybody's attention and you're just like, hey, guys, uh, let me have everybody's attention. This is my favorite shoe. Then you're oh. there. <laughs> But if it's something worthwhile, then yeah. Listen, dude. When somebody asks for all the open micers attention, there's something wrong with this brain, right? I mean, it depends. Is a car hurtling towards you? Then that would be important. There, but this is okay. But if I wouldn't be bringing it up if that was the case. Yeah, I assume so. Yeah. yeah. He gets everyone's attention. He goes, this was a great mic. You guys, we, this is how <laughs> it happens, guys. We're all doing this together. Yeah. I love you guys. Yeah. I want your kids. Whatever the fuck he right, says. Yeah, right. I don't like that. No. No. And then he goes, we're all going to the Greyhound. And I was like, oh, there's another mic down the street. I just leave. I literally leave in the middle of his sermon that he's giving. Yeah. And I go to the Greyhound, get a burger, wait for the mic to start. Flash forward to f- fast forward, not flash forward. Fast well, flash forward now. Come on. Fuck. Stay with it. Yeah. Fast forward to <laughs> flash forward. towards the end of the mic. He, he gets a chance to go on stage, right? Yeah. I get called on deck. Before I get called the Nick, I need to learn how to tell stories. <laughs> so this guy's on stage and he's talking. Okay, first of all, Milan goes first, right? The guy in the front row tells Milan because Milan says, "Is anybody here married?" The guy yeah. in the front row already drunk because we were all watching the basketball game before the mic started. Yeah. He says, uh, "I'm a widower." Right? Thoughts yeah. on that? That's sad. Don't right. say that. Yeah. Not a, not when people are trying to do comedy. What are you doing? Milan, if not one of the 250, one of the 100, he's really good at comedy, Very right? Funny. He goes, well, that's something you don't want to say out loud, right? Basically, yeah. he handles this situation. Sure. A bunch of open mic comedians come up and they fucking do jokes about the guy being a widower. Oh, God. And like suicide, like was it suicide? Stupid shit that you shouldn't say to somebody who's drunk and obviously yeah. going through like a death yeah. in a his Morgan life. Wallen situation. Yeah. But he this, looks very happy. This is the guy in the front row. <laughs> uh, and then um, the bartender comes over because the widower is talking a lot. And he also volunteered the information. The comics write their down and their shitty little notebooks. And they're like, oh, God, I got a joke about widower. Yeah. What rhymes with widower? Quitower. She quit on you. You know, kind yeah, of whatever right, the fuck right. they say. Yeah. Um, and then the bartender comes out to the widower and he goes, hey, bro, you got to be quiet. First of all, bartender, oh. not very versed. In comedy, he was talking during somebody else's set very the loudly. The too? Yeah. Well, like to the guy. Oh. Being like, and making like a scene about it. Very liberal gesture. This right here. You got to cut it out, right? I mean, I would like it if they did that and the guy was being annoying. But It's an open mic, dude. If it's a show, so, yeah. But I don't care. Fucking I, anybody being like, hey, shut the fuck up to somebody who's talking during open mic, comedy show, anything. I'm like, that guy's a hawk. That's actually hawk move number 119. <laughs> but keep going. And so... That happens. I don't have a thought on that. Whatever. Yeah. I just want to do my time. 
bartender goes up to him, goes back. So now this guy, remember the guy from earlier that fucking got everyone's attention, which I got a problem with that already. When he did that, I fucking rolled my eyes and I was like, oh, fuck this guy already, right? Yeah, the, the widower guy, right? No, that's a different person. Right. That's uh, an who? audience member at an open mic. Oh, you mean the guy who got everybody's attention? The guy that got yeah, everyone's yeah, attention yeah. is a comic, right? Yeah. He, this is totally worth it, by the way. You're yeah, no, no, no. I'm, 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 I'm br- bringing, you're bringing something to the table. Yeah. And it has to do with fucking Morgan Wallen's actions. Good. Um, so he, Goes up to pay his tab. That's what he's feigning that he's paying his tab. But really, he wants to talk to this bartender now that went to talk to the widower. Okay. Right. And so you hear murmuring beginnings of like, yeah, come on. Back and forth between him and the bartender. And then it turns into his fucking wife died, dude. (laughs) What do you expect? He's like yelling at the bartender now. Right. And then he's like, no, fuck that dog. Fuck you, dude. I'll fuck you up right now. Call the cops. I don't give a fuck. It turns into this, right? That's what the comic is saying to the bartender? Yes. Holy shit. Yes. And then he starts going, What? I don't know his name, but he goes, Mike David jokes on Instagram. Look me up, guys. Swear to God. Swear. swear. Mike David? Something. Let me like, because that's Red Bar's name. Something like that, dude. <laughs> let me see. <laughs> Cause he, um, cause I followed him at the Glendale room while this is happening. I sure. pull up my phone and I unfollow him. Yeah. That would um, be hilarious if he just happens to have the same name as Mike Brandon. Parker. Okay. Yeah. He said, Mike Parker jokes on Instagram. Check me out. He's all, but he's like on 10 already. Jeez. And then everyone's response to that is what they follow. Just kidding. No, they yeah. say, get the fuck out the bar, dude. Yeah. I don't want the smoke from this guy. Cause yeah. he sounds like he's insane, mm-hmm. but I will say that this in a kind of sounds like why, Venues don't have open mics for yes. that exact reason. Yeah, the bartender comes out to silence an annoying audience member, and then is essentially attacked by a psychotic open micer. Yes, for trying to help them. By the way, the guy that made me go to that mic, mm. he was the one. Like the host of the mic was like, "How did you hear about us?" By the way, <laughs> and then I was like, "This fucking dude with the red hat that goes uh a lot." told me about this place and she's like, who the fuck is that? And I showed her the picture. She's like, who the fuck is that? Didn't even, I don't even know how he found out about it, dude. Wait, but is that the same guy? The red hat is the guy that was yelling. Yeah. Oh yeah. You want to be like, but you didn't know when she asked you about it, that it was him that I didn't, I don't have crazy. I can't look into the future, dude, but what I'm, you're like, <laughs> what I'm saying is like, you hadn't seen him gone crazy no. when you told the host that's who told no, you. No, I that. saw him call the attention of all the open micers, which is a red flag for sure. Yeah. Wow, that is hilarious. Yeah. If you call the attention of every open micer at an open mic, you better say something funny or like take your shirt off like Burt Kreischer or something, you know? Yeah. I mean, I I don't, I always kind of am put off by people that, because open mics don't matter at all and I just want to kind of do them and get out and yeah. practice and all that. So when people are like, hey, well, hey, how's everybody? How's everybody doing? We're all in this together. Mm. Man, look at this night, dude. We're kind of chasing our dreams, and I, that stuff is like so cringy to me. I, I hate it. I yeah. hate that. But you know, who cares? None of it matters. And Hawk move number eight five one six. What's that? Your boy was the last one to go up, dude. At the Greyhound. Yeah, because everyone felt uncomfortable. But oh, I mean, you went after that guy. Yeah, yeah. Well, the guy yeah. on stage, his set got fucking kaput, dude. Like it was just done. And then I was on deck that whole time when he was losing his shit. And so the the host was like, come to the stage, this guy that's been here for three hours. And then I went on stage and I just fucking did my set. Yeah. Got a couple chuckles, dude. You know yeah, what I mean? That's funny. So it was like, well, I have a question. While you were up doing your stand up, was the guy kicked out at that point? So the guy finally left, right? Yeah, okay. Keep in mind, the guy that was on stage before me, like the host was like, just, she was just, you know, what do you do in that situation? She works there. She's like, she's, she going, works at the Greyhound. She, a lot of stuff's going through her head. Right. So she's just probably dealing with that. So she eventually lights him, but the guy's trying to win back and say, it just doesn't work out. It's a rough set to have. Right. Let me finish please. Mm-hmm. And so the, the, the guy that did all the yelling, he is still in the bar that whole time. The cops are on their way. They're t- they're calling the cops loudly. Like the bartenders <laughs> It is a lot more than what I made it. Up. It was a lot of yelling and screaming. Damn. Yeah. Um, he's still in the bar, still talking and he's trying to apologize to the comics, but like in a cool way, he's like, sorry guys, you know, it's like the bartender or the comedian. Who do you think? The comedian. Yeah. 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 And so he's trying to apologize to all the comics and trying to be cool, but he's, everyone's like, get the fuck out, dude. Yeah, yeah, Yeah. He goes outside. And then by the time I get on stage, 
He's on his, of course he drives a motorcycle, right? He's on his motorcycle and he's right behind me. Basically, you know, like the wall, the wall of the bar is behind me. Yeah. He's right behind me. Just revving his engine. Just the red hat guy. Yes. And so I'm waiting for him to leave. And then he finally goes, and I start my set. Yeah. Well, do you said the host works at the Greyhound? Yes. So it's not a comedian. She's a comedian. She's a comedian. Who's just like also a bartender. Yeah. That's cool. I like the Greyhound. I, I used to go there. That's crazy that they have comedy. Oh, one other thing. I, they're never going to have it again, I bet. Yeah, that's like, that was the last night. Yeah. You, I, you lost your, we all lost our shot at, the, at that amazing open mic, it sounds like. But um, <laughs> I remember the Olympia beers there like it was yesterday. Did uh, did the guy, the red hat guy, I might have missed this. Did he actually go up and do stand up at the Greyhound? Yeah. Well, how was his set? Uh, at the Greyhound, it was rough. At the Glendale room, it was like, there was two jokes that were pretty funny, mm-hmm. but they were also like hacky, but... I was like, oh, I didn't expect him to say that. Did he interact with the guy who was a widower at all? During yes. The yes. What was that like? Keep in mind, though, he interacted with everyone. He was a very vocal guy. Right. Talking to like when he got to the bar, he was like, oh, fuck. Yeah, dude. I think because he just saw people. And right. so he just starts talking to everyone. OK. And he's like trying to convince uh, regular people, pedestrians yeah. uh, to do comedy. He's like, right. oh, dude, it's, it's easy. Just buy it. You already bought a drink. Just sign up. It's fucking good. Oh, God. Yeah. He sounds awful. But did you try and suck him off? No. no I'm just kidding. I mean, but, I would have sucked him off if it would have got me something. <laughs> if I would have got like a free garlic fry, dude. <laughs> hell yeah. So what But what was he like with the widower? I'm curious now. What did he say? Do you remember? Uh, Everyone was terrible with the widower. The, the like, doc, It was just like. But what I don't want to say I don't want to say people's names, but like somebody had a suicide joke, yeah. and then they got mad that nobody laughed. But we were all like, "Dude, just like do your co-. like." This guy was also like he was kind of asking for it. If you look at him, he's like he's just sitting in the front layer, like <laughs> and talking. Maybe he wasn't even serious too. He might have just been like an asshole. I'm like I'm he was serious. He you was could serious. tell. Yeah, he well, seemed People were like, "Was that a joke?" And he he would be like, "No." Like you're like you know kind of. That's kind of what you do though if you're doing a bit. He was bent out of shape, Cooney. What do you All want right. to say? No, I believe you. <laughs> I believe you. This is just it's fascinating to me because like the red hair, the red hat guy. Right. He clearly feels for this widower person. Yet he talked to him during his set. So I'm like, what did he say? Oh, like, he hey, talked man, to him nicely. Hey, hey, don't worry about it, man. Yeah. Did he say that? No, he was like, it's gonna all be okay. Something a lot. I don't, I don't remember exactly. I mean, dude, I don't give a fuck about people's sex. Yeah, yeah, you know, that's true. You don't really. Um, but I remember he did talk, but he was talking to everyone. He was trying, he was trying to do that thing at the bar where you point and be like, right. this guy, what's happening over here? All Salvadorian, right? Salvadorian, you know, kind of thing. That would be really funny though if he's doing that. Like he's like, hey, you're a Salvadorian. Oh, he's a Salvadorian. You know how the Salvadorian people are. And then he goes back to the guy with the widower and he's like, hey, man, <laughs> it's gonna be all right, dude. <laughs> It's gonna be all right. He starts doing like Frank A. Keone on his things. He's like, "Hey, be strong, my boy. <laughs> be strong, my boy." <laughs> He's like all fucking nice to the guy. Hey, oh, are you guys fucking? You two are fucking. Yeah, look at these two. They're fucking. Hey, man, you still with me, dog? Every time, every <laughs> time somebody would say something to him, he goes, "You guys are helping me. You guys are helping me." Wait, the audience member that it was a widower. The widower, yes. Wow. Yes. That's kind of powerful in a way, yeah. in a weird way. I mean, also shut the fuck up. But yeah, it's powerful, dude. Yeah, I mean, you should. I don't think like um, unless he's really welcoming it, which maybe he is a little bit. If he's saying you guys are really helping me, then you maybe guys are he's really helping me. He really wants people to talk to him during the open. It's like that Key and Peele sketch. Remember the guy that's all fucked up and he makes him make fun of him. Make fun of me. He's all weird. No, I don't watch Key and Peele. Yeah, oh, that's a great sketch. <laughs> yeah, do that. I've never had an audience member be a widower like that before, and it'd be real. Yeah. Well, that's in a way, you helped him out, although you didn't, you fucking piece of shit. You didn't do nothing. No, I mean, he was gone. <laughs> Dude, he left by the time I got on stage. Oh, the widower left, too. Yeah. That's funny. You know what would be really funny is if the fucking the widower had been there, and then, like, as soon as the, the guy with the hat got kicked out, he's, like, revving his engine, and you see the widower get on the back of it. Oh, yeah. And ride bitch all yeah. the way back. He's this like, was a sketch. He's like, don't, don't watch me, Elaine. He's just like right. talking to his wife. And then they suck each other off. Yeah, they like suck each the, other off. They're off. riding the motorcycle like this, actually. Yeah. He's like got his legs in the air and they fucking. And then they're owners of Universal Music Group after that, dude. They're just. <laughs> <laughs> they just become like the. <laughs> <laughs> the audio <laughs> listeners can't see. They fucking 69 all the way home, dude. That's how every Gerardo story ends, dude. Yep, yep. Two dudes 69ing. <laughs> 
Fucking that's what fucking it's just funny to see everyone every time I look at the screen it's Morgan Wallen looking all happy that he yeah. threw a chair out of the window. <laughs> yeah. Fucking drunk lunatic. Uh speaking of Morgan Wallen, he kinda looks like Brent Flyberg, right? If he just he cleaned up a little bit and had brown hair. A thicker yeah, maybe Brent Flyberg with three C's. Oh yeah. It's like Morgan's a little like, like Brent's a skinny guy, yeah. you know. He could blow he has that like blow away in the wind vibe to him, you know. Mm. He could just see him. Whoosh. It's so funny when you see one aspect of somebody in something, and then when people are like, that doesn't look like him at all. But I was like, I wasn't calling Brent fat, dude. <laughs> oh, no, I don't think he doesn't look like him at all. Okay. Yeah, Brent's a good-looking guy. Morgan's a good-looking guy. They have, like, kind of both have long hair. Mm-hmm. Does Brent have a mustache? Yeah, Brent has a mustache. Brent has a mustache. But he's a, he's a little dirtier around the edges here, you know? This guy, to me, looks like my old roommate, Eddie. Mm. So he's got Eddie vibes to me. I see more Eddie in him than I see Brent. So I told Brent Flyberg that whole story last night, right? Yeah. I told him about the whole thing. And he goes, oh, dude, Mike Parker? That guy's a fucking, he's nuts. I knew him in the Seattle scene. Oh, shit. Yeah. Now I kind of will look him up and see what he looks like for myself. That'd be funny so if he's I, from Seattle. I woke up today and I just saw that he had like eight million followers from doing that. Lesson. He's huge. He's huge. Huh? He's a big act. <laughs> I mean, dude, look at that. Oh, yeah. This is this crazy is him hell, right dude. here, dude. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. I don't know if can the audience see this. Yeah, I mean, he's got a San Francisco hat on with vi like those are some aggressive sunglasses. You know what I mean? That's just such a crazy thing to do to fight the bartender over. But yeah, I, once again, if you see this, Mike Parker, I have no. I have no desire to get smoke with you. Also, he's got a grill, dude. Can oh, there we go. He's got a grill, and I mean, dude, to Cooney's point, Niners fan, Hard Rock Mike. Yeah, I always tell you guys, watch out for Forty ers fans because yep. they will keep you busy. All right, this is a dangerous group of people. Well, we wanted to talk about sexy popes, but I got to get going. Yeah, you got to get going. And uh, we already did a voicemail on the last episode. So we'll probably put that on at the end. Here. At the end here. Yeah. Uh, let's see. We got a voicemail. If you guys want to <laughs> leave us a voicemail. You can call us at 775-557-8667. That's 775-557-TIMOS. Uh, and we'll play your voicemail on the air, just like this. Let's see. Hey, yo, hey, yo. Hey, yo, it's Diddy from Making a Band. Hey, yo, Gerardo and Brendan, <laughs> man. I just wanted to send some love to y'all, man. I appreciate y'all not going along with all the allegations and all that shit, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, they be trying to get me in eh, 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 you know <laughs> but you let them take that take that take that yeah. you know I appreciate y'all I love y'all daddy <laughs> keep doing y'all thing over there it's Diddy it's one love daddy <laughs> <laughs> nailed Dude, it best but, voicemail we've gotten yeah, so take far take that take that Eh, 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 eh. That's stuff so good, dude. <laughs> it's funny that that's like Diddy's aside. You know what do they call it when rap? You know when you're when you do the voices. It's like a pitter, it's not ad libs. Pitter. Yeah, ad libs. And then Diddy's was take that, take that. Ooh. It's kind of a telling, right? Take that. Yeah, we know yeah. What, we know what that means now. A lot of people, a lot of times, people telling themselves. Yeah, he should have been saying, "Give it to me." <laughs> <laughs> Remember that video, like the that Jesus was playing in the. Um, the the green room, not the the audio of Mel. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They they it again. I think that him and uh, Christian thought it was real, or at least they were acting like that. It's it obviously but dude, fake. it's more fun this way, dude. <laughs> I went there playing, and I was like, but that's not real. Though. It's, real. Like, it's real. It's real. It's <laughs> real. Life is a lot funner when you don't fucking give a shit, dude. <laughs> it was so ridiculous. I was like, but you know, that's like not real though, right? And they were like, they were like, what? They, we're, I should have been in on the joke. Yeah, dude. Hawk move number 16. Yeah, dude. Be a yes guy, dude. Yes yeah. and. Yeah, that shit's right. real. And Diddy's fucking gay, dude. Oh, dude. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. I don't know what's happening here. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Is that the only one? The yeah. All right. Real quick, I'll, I'll check and see just for that. I already did. Oh, okay. There's nothing. Well, <laughs> that's it. What? Let me um, see if there's any on for uh, Timos, though, dude. Oh, that's right. We never checked that. Tell him you want to, some more reviews, dude. Listen, we talk about this every week. We want some reviews. So if you could review us on Apple Pod, I know a lot of you guys don't have it because you got Android phones, and that's fine. To each his own. You're black, my son. You're gay. You know, <laughs> you're not. I don't really care what kind of phone you have. Find a way to do it. All right? If you have to suck someone off to write a review, fucking do it. Hawk move number 17. Oh, shit. We got some fucking reviews, dude. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, so we got... Uh... Let me see. I think this is the newest one. It's from Benji Dog. It says 10 minutes. 
Uh, five stars, 10 minutes ever heard of it, but seriously, folks, these two great gentlemen never heard of them are fantastic, aka straight up Netflix. So stop what you're doing here. Grab some burnt pizza from Flappers and Kibitech, your favorite red chair, trademark, and listen to the greatest podcast ever, ever heard of it, daddy. Thank you. Nice. Thank him. Thank you very much, sir. And yeah, you can leave a review on 10 Minutes of Shop, too, on Apple Podcast. Yeah, if you want. Not as big a deal. I would prefer you do Raccoon Tweets, but either one is much appreciated. Honestly, I just want voicemails. Yeah, voicemails are good, too. That one was hilarious. Yeah. Do a voice, maybe. <laughs> Those are good. And imitate. Boom. Boom. Right, have a great week. Bye.